Hey guys. Rayan, how you doing, man? Rayan, right? Rayan? Good to see you, man. I've been reading my Quran. Oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Are you about to leave? Are you leaving? I was, but I can talk for a second if you aren't talking. I've been reading, man. I got some questions. Of course, of course. So, because I, I looked up, obviously I'm coming at it from, you know, first thing is like the Torah and Injil, they're both in there, right? So I want to explain the actual because it's a very big misconception. Uh -huh. So that's actually with the Injil. So the Injil that we believe is the book that was revealed to Jesus directly. Uh -huh. So Mark, Matthew, Luke, John, those books, they're, yeah. not, they're not Injil, definitely not Paul, he's definitely not Injil. Okay. Injil is just what in the New Testament, the only thing that could be considered Injil is maybe some of the teachings of Jesus, but other than that, you know, we don't believe that what, what Mark said is, first of all, according to most New Testament scholars, Mark is an anonymous author. It wasn't actually Mark, the same as Matthew, Luke, and John. But even if they were, uh, even if, the, despite, who, despite who the authors were, we don't really believe what they say is scripture. Mm -hmm. Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, or Paul. But yeah, I just yeah. want to let you know about that, like, to understand okay. the, the context. Well, so, I was reading the Quran, yeah. and I don't see anywhere where it discredits the Injil or the Torah. It affirms that the Torah and the Injil. Uh, so, but why do they come to? Why do you come to for you to judgment when they already have the Torah, containing God's judgment? Then they turn away. After all, they are not true believers if they turn away. So you have to understand the context. Yeah, yeah. So in this situation, the Jews are coming to their valor peace be upon them and saying, mm -hmm. you know, we had people that were fornicating, and you know, like, what do you think we should do with them? But the reason they're doing that is because they know that in the Torah it says that these people, depending on the context, I don't know if they were, I think they were outside of marriage. I think they did it while they are married, so I think it's death, right, in the Torah. So yeah. they know that in the Torah it says death, but they're looking for someone else to give them a, a ruling to get away from that ruling. Yeah. So what the Quran is saying, first of all, the Quran would never criticize people for coming to the Bible of Quran because it also says, it would be a clear contradiction to say, come to the Bible of Quran and some of those ruins. The internet is out to say, if you disagree on something, then bring it yeah. back to God and His Messenger. So, what, but, so now why is it saying, how can they go to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him when they have the Torah? It's saying the hypocrisy that they believe this is the word of God. Yet they're going to someone that they don't even believe is a prophet of God and saying, hey, can you give us a different ruling? So it's, show, it's showing the hypocrisy and the lack of actual belief in what they believe is the word of God. And also well, so in check, to that. So, well, let, me ask, let me ask this next one. So the messenger firmly believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord. Uh -huh. And so do the believers. They all believe in God, his angels, yeah. his books, okay. and his messengers. So his books is talking about the Torah, the Injil and obviously the Quran. Now, if Allah revealed these things, why why do we go to the Quran if we already have these? Okay, so the Torah, let's start with the Torah. The Old Testament is not just the Torah, obviously it's many books. And for the Torah, we don't have confirmation that these books were actually preserved. And actually, for any time we would say that there were, they were um, like there were corruptions. So even you can look at the same, in the same, the same chapter. It says, "For when did the did the Bible actually go into the Bible? Then they say, 'They say this is from God.' So they say, 'Woe to the ones that write the book with their own hands.' Then they say, 'This is from God.' So they take. Well, where's that one? Say again. Is that recording? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because all the verses I'm seeing about the Torah and the Injil it says that it's real from Allah, and they're not that you, you can't corrupt it. He's been very clear, and so that just kind of points to me that if they were revealed and we're supposed to lean on them as Jews and Christians, then. Another thing, I can't find a verse where it says that it's corrupted. I only hear that from, from Muslim clerics. Yeah. And I only hear it from, like the hadiths. Some hadiths say it. Yeah. I, I think, I'm not, I'm not sure. But So in other words, I'm saying the Injil, like the Quran is affirming the Injil is true. It is not, because I'll show you the verse. I just read you the verse. Okay, yeah. It's hard to find yeah, that's fine. Big chapter. Um, And while you look, I'll just say this one thing. I mean, the burden of proof is not on us. It's on you guys. Yeah, I'm not trying to convince you that. Hey, no, no, I'm, I understand. Yeah, yeah, we're just having a conversation. No, 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 I, I'm just telling you that as Muslims, we don't start with the argument that it's corrupt, therefore you should believe. 
we're saying that we don't have proof that it's, that it's not corrupted. So when we say that it is, we say when we say our when we say our beliefs, and then you try to contradict us with the Torah and Injil, we say, okay, well, show me that this is exactly what God would do. So we're not trying to yeah, convince yeah. you that scripture. We're trying to say our beliefs don't contradict the true word of God because where's the proof yeah. that it's actually the true word of God? Yeah. Um, What's the answer? Is archaeology? And all the manuscripts, which we already talked about, the Dead Sea Scrolls. If you look at the Injil, how do you, how do you, I don't, it's not really a big deal if the books Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, if they're, if they were accurately preserved from the written. The bigger question is how can we trust the authors? So how yeah. can we trust that this anonymous author is writing in a different language from Jesus decades after Jesus has left the earth and is not citing the sources, some guy with a book. Yeah. How can we trust that what this guy saying by Jesus is correct? Well, that, it's actually a bigger stretch to, to trust in the writings of, of the writings of the Quran, because even in the Hadith, they say that there's there's parts of the Quran that went missing, and there's some there's some people that forgot entire sections of the Quran. Which I don't have those memorized, but I'll, I'll come back with that. What time is it? Yeah. I'm not going to take too much of your time. I appreciate it, man. But I just want to find you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm having. I know I know it's in this chapter. For some reason, I'm looking at the wrong page or something. Well, I'm gonna be, we're gonna be come back at like once a month, yeah. so I can you can follow up with you, man. I'll, I'll have some more uh, I'll have some more questions too, man. I'll keep reading it. In the Quran, Allah Himself claims to have inspired the Torah and the Gospels, which is one of the biggest contradictions in Islam, because that same Allah supposedly revealed to Muhammad that Jesus was not crucified that Jesus was not the Son of God. How can the same God bring two opposing revelations at the same time? Not only that, but then give Muslims the responsibility to subjugate and to kill and to murder and dismember unbelievers who supposedly don't believe the message of Allah. And yet the message of Allah was the Torah and the Gospels. If this is confusing to you, it should be, because it's a lie. One of these things is not like the other. Muslims love to say that the Torah and the Gospels have been corrupted, but they have zero proof. The Dead Sea Scrolls proves that the Old Testament has not changed, and we have 1,600 manuscripts that proves the New Testament hasn't changed. This is more manuscripts than any other writing in, in the world of antiquity, and in their own most authoritative Muslim sources, they say that they don't have the complete Quran. That much of the Quran has been burned. And their most authoritative reciters even forgot parts of the, of the Quran. So the reason this young Muslim could not find the verse in the Quran that says that the Torah and the Injil have been corrupted is because it's not in there.